forests. They cover 30% of the Earth's land surface. 80% of land animals and plants call the forests their home. They are our planet's lungs and control the levels of CO2 in the air that we breathe. But the forests are under attack. Illegal and unsustainable logging is responsible for most of the degradation of the world's forests, destroying habitats, endangering species and contributing to global warming. Interpol supports global law enforcement to disrupt international criminal networks and protect the world's forests before it's too late. Environmental crime is a growing global issue that is affecting not just our natural resources, but our economy, our society, and our security as well. Interpol is addressing this serious threat to our planet through the Environmental Security Program. One of the ways Interpol supports its member countries is through criminal intelligence officers who can share their experience and assist local law enforcement when evidence of a crime is discovered. We're here in Thailand and our mission is to travel with our colleagues from uh, the Royal Thai Police. We're going to visit an area which has been deforested, so they've had uh, rosewood which has been um, illegally logged from the, from the natu national park up there. For myself as a, a, someone who's worked in law enforcement, um, if I can use my law enforcement skills to help protect the environment uh, and ensure it's here for future generations, um, uh, then that, that, that is my mission. Uh, not only are these big trees uh, essential for our carbon cycle, um, soaking up carbon, carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, uh, but they're actually very, very essential in uh, reducing erosion, especially on these, uh, these mountainous terrains um, that they have here in Thailand. Just arrived uh, at the location here where uh, the illegal logging is going. We've got an absolutely massive, uh, massive species of tree which has been half cut into pieces. มันใช้เวลานานมากกว่ามันจะโตได้ขนาดนี้อ่ากลุ่มคนที่เป็นคนที่ตัดไม้ตรงนี้แล้วก็มีการสืบสวนขยายผลจนถึงในทุนจนถ
de pe teritoriul României, fie sunt exportați în exterior. Așadar, este foarte important ca lemnul să fie interceptat pe traseu, încât lemnul din proveniență ilegală să nu ajungă să părăsească teritoriul României. Ok, mă duc să vorbesc cu colegul de la poliție. One of the most challenging aspects for the authorities is distinguishing legally cut timber from illegally cut timber. Verificăm transportul de lemne, verificăm volumul în aplicația unde apar toate datele de referitoare la transport. După verificările efectuate în, în sistemul electronic, nu sunt suspiciuni de diferențe uh, între datele declarate. Uh, prin urmare, acest camion va fi lăsat să își continue traseul. La poliție vor continua să urmărească astfel de, de transporturi și să, facă, să efectueze controle în cadrul uh, operațiunilor organizate alături de Garda Forestieră. When illegal timber does make it across international borders, that can mean big profits for the organized crime groups. With profits in the illegal timber trade estimated at $152 billion per year, this is attracting some of the biggest organized crime groups in the world today. Forestry crime and financial crime are very much connected, as it is a key driver for financial crimes such as money laundering, tax evasion and fraud. These criminals are exploiting our natural resources to make huge amounts of money. If we focus on the financial crime elements of these predicate crimes, we can help seize and take away from these criminals some of the huge profits that they make. Organized crime groups operate internationally, shipping illegally sourced wood through some of the world's busiest ports, where they often try to disguise their illegal cargo. The cartels that deal in illegal trade. They pretend to be exporting coffee or tea, and yet they conceal the, the goods inside those containers. That's why we have to be very, very keen on uh, scanning the export goods. This is another interception of uh, crosswood timber. This is one of the most valuable indigenous uh, tree to the market world is like gold. The methods criminals use to avoid detection are constantly evolving, so it's crucial for law enforcement to stay one step ahead. This is how the smugglers keep records, uh, the numbers of the items inside the container. They have got their own language of knowing how many rosewood timbers are inside the container by encrypting on the door so that the recipients will be able to know the total number based on the records written on the door. Only through sharing the information of these criminal techniques with other law enforcement agencies can the international illegal timber trade be disrupted. Here at Interpol, as part of our mandate, we're charged with collecting and analyzing information related to illicit markets from our nearly 200 member countries. We use this information to produce intelligence products and drive global law enforcement operations. At the heart of these operations are the Interpol National Central Bureaus, or NCBs, which cooperate on cross-border investigations, operations and arrests sharing intelligence globally. Intelligence-led policing often uncovers overlapping crime areas. In Peru, vast areas of the Amazon rainforest are being destroyed to make way for another devastating environmental crime, illegal mining. In toda la selva hay oro. Y los mineros ilegales con el fin de extraer el material aurífero. Y 
esta zona existen concesiones legales de minería, pero también existen mineros ilegales que ingresan a esas concesiones y destruyen el bosque. Es una pena como personas irresponsables con el afán del lucro no les importa la conservación del medio ambiente, la flora y la fauna que se ve totalmente devastada. La Amazonía es considerada como un pulmón que alimenta de oxígeno a nuestro planeta. Si poco a poco vamos a ir consumiendo los árboles, vamos a tener menos oxígeno, vamos a tener menos un aire limpio que respirar. Y no solamente el Perú se va a perjudicar, sino a nivel mundial toda la población. En este momento vamos a ir este, con una comitiva junto con la Policía de Medio Ambiente de Madre de Dios a sobrevolar los, el bosque del área protegida donde existe ahí el delito de tala ilegal, burlando y violando todo tipo de normativa y la legislación nacional. Cuando estemos en el lugar se va a observar de, muy de cerca el área talada, el área seca, árida, eh, producto de la tala ilegal y la minería ilegal. Nos afecta a todos los peruanos a nivel nacional y afecta a nivel mundial. Nos afecta, nos causa dolor. La Interpol coordina permanentemente con las autoridades a fin de que se investigue a toda esa organización criminal que practica esta tala ilegal. De esa manera luchamos contra este crimen organizado que se viene extendiendo cada día más. The fight against global and legal deforestation is an uphill battle. Criminals are constantly evolving their methods to trick, corrupt and manipulate the legitimate timber trade. But law enforcement is fighting back. By sharing information worldwide, Interpol contributes up-to-date intelligence to help international police work together and crack down on forestry crime, hold those responsible to account and protect one of our planet's most precious resources.